What's up? November 16, 2023, Maverick Ranch. This is the home construction status update. Today, the well was installed. Still got to run the line to the house, but um, it ended up being 125 feet deep and it flowed 40 gallons per minute so it was gushing out of there it was uh it was a good one and that's real good because we are in drought conditions heck the pond is two foot low right now i've never seen it this low um they got water restrictions everywhere and i'm getting 40 gallons a minute out of the well so tomorrow they're coming back and they're going to run the water line all the way um, straight ahead into the wall there, um, right in through there. So that's cool. Um, they've been working on the house, uh, doing trim work. You see the columns, they put the trim up there. Today they caulked it. They did some painting. Um, it's looking really good. Um, there was a few issues with the siding, even though the siding guys did an excellent job, that, that piece had to be replaced. It was warped. But other than that, everything is really good. They hooked up all, the electric is complete. Um, they hooked up all the lights. The only thing they have to do is hook up the fresh air intake fan which uh, we need for inspection. But uh, they, they, had, they did, forgot to run a plug for that downstairs. But other than that, everything's rolling along really well. Um, probably less than a month, the house is gonna be done. Um, that was jacked up a little bit. It wasn't square, they fixed that. Um, lights are on. <sighs> Uh, the garage doors are coming next Tuesday. But they got the lights. And today I made a little <clears throat> thing for a, when they pour the concrete, I want them to pour a little pad right here. So I framed it out a little bit. Um, and it's not really supposed to, but um, they always have a little extra concrete. So I'll get them to empty their extra there after we, you know, get it all leveled out and put some rebarb and some stuff in there. And that's what we did the last couple days is install the septic. Did an excellent job. This thing, there's a clean out there. And then it goes to here, and then 22 degrees down to another clean out down here. And when we get to this clean out, about a foot over this way, about right here is where there's a T that is going to be going to where the shop is going to be for the bathroom and sink in the shop future future shop so it's perfect perfectly placed and then from here it goes over to the the poop vault <laughs> which is here. This is the poop vault. And there's another underground concrete top there. About, that's the one that we use to clean it out. And then that one is the distribution tank. And then from there, there's five lines that go out to the drain field. And they go out that way. 
but they did a really good job. I've spent the last few days picking up stumps, roots, rocks, you name it. But uh, overall, it worked out pretty good. They put a lot of gravel in there, so they had leftover dirt, which is a good thing because when they're backfilling and uh, doing the final grade, we're gonna fill in this swell with some rock and some nasty stuff. And then we got plenty of stuff, good stuff to put on top. So that'd be good. And let's see what else. We'll go around the house real quick and then we'll go in. Lots going on. Um, under here, the deck and screen porch are finally done. Just put the door on yesterday. We'll go up and look at it. But the gutters are on. Um, I think that was on another video. Um, everything's looking good down here. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, this is on my list of things to do. Uh, <clears throat> right here, I'm going to cut another T in, in that line and have it pointing up. And then I'm going to go straight from the gutter down into it. So we don't have any anything out here. Water running down, making a mess. So it'll go in into that line. And then I had to dig that up. That's the floor drain. And that's it there. Let's see if the front door is open. Um, they were painting today. Oh, yeah. Got a crack here in the concrete. So they're going to have to fix that. And when they do this walkway, in a few days, they're going to take that board off, fix the concrete, install everything. Let's go over here. Let's see if it's locked. Let's see. See if the doorbell works. <clears throat> see if anybody's home. <clears throat> ah, we got somebody. No solicitors. We don't want any. <laughs> Welcome to the ranch. <laughs> we got the inspector Jim here inspecting the paint job. Um, I guess the doorbell works. Yeah. Okay. We got lights. Oh my gosh, lights. <sighs> So they spent all day, I guess they were just painting trim. I mean, stuff like that, look, they got, they got some issues here and there. I'll have to uh, point some of this out. They just, just, some of the things, it's just a, is a mess. Um, oh yeah. They forgot a spot on the wall over there where they didn't paint. Um, they're painting some of this stuff. Um, oh yeah, these holes in the wall, I guess. They don't have a stud finder, so they just find studs with screws. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's how the the guys that put the cabinets in did it. They don't even, they don't even waste their time with that. So this is the wall that they had to tear out and they, they repaired it, but uh, it's got some issues. They're gonna, well, they're not done, but there's a shower. They finished um, caulking it and they finished um, putting the grout. So the shower is officially done. And then there's the, 
they, uh, the, oh yeah, that's, I, it's been a while since I've filmed. So the toilets are in. Um, oh, okay, he fixed it. That toilet was crooked. I made him readjust it. He did. Um, so they put all the toilets in. Uh, realized that this was the wrong uh, cabinet. So they're going to have a drawer there, drawer there. The center is not going to be a drawer because the sink is there. So we're waiting on that to come in on both sides. And then they're going to put the faucets in here. But that's the only plumbing they have left to do. Everything else is on. And we should have water tomorrow. Um, we have lights, water. We have sewer hooked up. It's coming together. We'll go outside so you can see the... And we have wet, wet paint everywhere, so I gotta be careful. So this is what the screen door looks like. The guy did a good job. I guess he was forewarned that I have OCD, so he measured all of the screws. So everything is symmetrical. <laughs> and it lines, it actually lines up good with the railing too, doesn't it, Jim? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it kind of lines up good. So it, it worked out well. And then this screen, I think the last video I showed, it was bowed out, so they fixed that. And then they caulked everything real nice. Uh, so everything is good out here. And I'm still working on some things. They painted, like I said, they painted out here too. They did a lot. A lot of caulking, a lot of painting. And they're definitely not done. Thank you, sir. And what else is going on, Jim? Um, oh yeah, let's let's look at the showers. Let's look at the showers. Yeah, they're. Uh, I don't even know if I showed the the cabinets and the shelves. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while. But they adjusted all the doors. I remember these doors weren't shutting properly. They weren't latching. Now they're latching. I think next week we're getting carpet. Um, so this is what the bathrooms look like. Uh, the, all the faucets are the same. They look like that. And those are the toilets that I got. And these are the doors for the shower. Let's, let's shut them. And these are the doors for the shower. <clears throat> They're semi-frameless. The only frame they have is up in, in there. And you can't see it, so everything else is just glass. And it's got a nice little uh, guard right there so water doesn't come through. Um, this one is installed properly. You can see right there on the corner, you got about a half inch from the top where it curves out to the edge on both sides. Granted, it has to be cleaned, but that's what this looks like. Just keep that in mind. Those are what the shower head, which is higher than normal, and the shower diverter look like. And then we'll go in the other rooms. Oh, and they did replace the vanity tops, and they did um, put the vents in underneath. This one is not centered, but uh, the others are. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get them to paint that vent similar color to the vanity so it doesn't stand out as much. And this is the bathroom with the tub. 
that's what all the faucets and everything look like. I had the electrician turn the lights um, this way so that it doesn't collect dust and bugs. And toilet and the vanity here and the vent underneath. Actually, the vent underneath actually goes with it. The color. This one turned out good. This bathroom turned out pretty good. <clears throat> now in the other room, this is where the shower stall is kind of jacked up. They're gonna have to come back and redo it. Because, ah! well at least you got clothes on. I just, I just pushed this up against the wall. The excussion plate. Oh, they probably had it out because they were painting. So this is uh, this is the other one, and this is what I was talking about about the door. See, the other one had about a half inch distance. This is actually overhanging. I'm I'm grabbing it like that, so this is not not installed properly. So they're gonna have to come back and redo it. The bad thing about it is they screwed it in to the fiberglass shower and now they're gonna have to put more holes in it. Oh. Frustrating. <coughs> and then this is the closet. This closet has some pretty nice shelves. I like this closet. Actually, I like this bedroom. <laughs> it's gonna be my bedroom, probably. <laughs> Next view. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, let's go in the basement. <clears throat> yeah, the kitchen looks a lot different now that the lights are on, don't it, Jim? Way better. Way better. And then we got some under cabinet lights over here too. Oh, there we go. And the cool thing about this is it's got four different adjustments for lighting. Um, we got this, um, that, this, this, or that. So we got all kinds of stuff. So I got a kind of, it's kind of on high medium right now. All right, let's go downstairs. Turn that light too. <clears throat> they put insulation on the walls down here. It actually, you can tell because it sounds different. <coughs> and then this is uh, becoming a stash of parts that the builder was gonna throw away. And uh, he said, if, if I don't take it, they're throwing away. So I took it. Jim helped me carry them in yesterday. This is where the pipes coming in tomorrow for the well. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd do that before they put the insulation, but I guess it doesn't matter. The HVAC guy came today and everything is hooked up. So it's, it's running and it's actually on now. So no more emergency heat for now. And the water heater's installed. It's kind of ironic. The date that it was installed is three years to the day that we bought the property. Um, the well, well tank pump goes here. That's the electric for it. Um, that will be installed tomorrow. 
So the water comes in here and it's gonna go to the pump, go through the pump and then go over to this side where it'll go into the house. Now the electrician is done. This is what the circuit breaker boxes look like. That's it right there. And on each box right here in the right hand corner, this one and this one, that's for a future generator. So I can back feed it and uh, I'll have electric if uh, we lose power. But that's later on down the road after everything passes inspection. And then that's all my TV cables here. We ran the ground out side for the cable and that is on a ground block outside oh, and that's about it got some dur rock and some insulation some plywood uh we got uh a couple uh sink tops they were going to throw away got a door they were going to throw away the floor guys left me all the you know leftover flooring and all the trim and everything so i got uh even got screen yep so if something happens to the screen porch i got screen to replace it so Anyway, yep, that's pretty much it. Got all the lights. Are these lights working? That was, uh, what's this? Okay, that's, that's the light. And then this other one is just to activate the plug outside because all the plugs are on a switch. And then I'm assuming this is a three-way switch for the lights in here. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is something I didn't show last video. This is the damaged cabinet where the double oven goes in. And they were going to throw that away too, but I took it. And uh, I'll make use of it down here. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I left out a bunch of stuff, but... It's been a while since I videotaped. I figured it was about time. So, back to inspecting, right, Jim? Yep. All right. We'll talk to you later.